Hello, everybody. Welcome to, yeah, you saw the demo title right. It is Makeup Inspired by Care Bears. And I don't know if you love Care Bears as much as I love Care Bears, but I will tell you they are sort of my obsession and um, just love everything about them. So I'm going to do a, like a multiple part series. So you might want to you might want to buckle up. <laughs> it's like this is going to be epic. So the first bear that we are doing is Tender Heart Bear. So we've got some Valentine's love to the whole thing. So I'm excited for you guys to see it. So first of all, here is the makeup look itself. So we've got biscotti, um, gold status, cinnabar, shiny penny, rustic, and then onyx as eyeliner. And then for the cheeks, we're going to do latte contour and the shy blush as your, like this is going to have some shimmer to it. So it's a really pretty, um, like kind of like it's going to look really good in candlelight, like that kind of pretty shimmery. Sorry, my dogs are, I don't even know what they're doing back there. Oh, the cat's involved. That's what's going on. That's all I needed to say. Dorothy was involved. And then we're going to do a really great red lip with this. So it's going to be brown and nudie kind of shimmer on the eyes. And then we're going to pop it with some great red lips. Okay. So we're streaming on all the platforms. Tell me where you are. Tell me hi. And uh, let's hit this... Uh, Care Bears inspired look. Don't you love Care Bears? Like, what's your, who's your favorite? Because Tender Heart Bear is cool. I picked it because it's going to be the best makeup look, but it's only because I couldn't put Funshine Yellow all over my face. Because Funshine's my favorite. So, by the way, biscotti underneath the eyebrow. And then we're going to hit the gold status right here on this inside corner to just pop it and give it a lot of brightness on the inside eye. I also, I think the next Care Bear we're going to do, tell me when you want to uh, see her, is going to be Friend Bear because not only is Friend Bear a good bear, they're all good, I even like Grumpy Bear, but um, it's because the Pantone color of the year is peachy and so Friend Bear is peachy. So we're going to do a whole peach look uh, next time. So tell me when you want to do it. Cinnabar, we're going to go right here under the mid-tone, right there in that brow bone area. So if you've got a deep set eye or a close set eye, hooded eye, any of those, you want to keep that mid-tone color higher up and to the outside. You can see that it's darker and then it gets lighter as it comes inside that rainbow. That's what you want. And that's the key to making that those shape of eyes. I have a hooded eye, deep set eye, all the, all the above eye. And so that is going to be a huge key is keeping that higher than typical and a little bit further to the outside, really making my eyes start to stand out and making that wreath, that, that brow bone, that prominent brow bone kind of tuck back in and make sure that you never put a shimmer in that, that area. If you've got that eye type, cause it will just completely do the exact opposite that you want to do. Um, it'll make it stand out more instead of retract. So then I'm going to do rustic, just the outer half of the eye. Really simple. Rustic is a beautiful color on anybody. It's kind of this basic brown shimmer, but it has this really pretty undertone where it doesn't pull too red. It's not too dark. It's kind of a great, and it's not too shimmery either. It's kind of got all, all the things. And then your last eyeshadow color is going to be Shiny Penny. And Shiny Penny is the reddish brown shimmer that really stands out. And we're going to put it right there on that color pop part of your eye. So kind of on the inside, maybe second quarter. And so when you blink, you're going to see that. You see all the mess down here that is the good that's a good thing that means we're doing our eye makeup first which is exactly what we want okay I'm gonna do a little bit of black eyeliner not too much just enough for it to grab because I'm gonna put onyx eyeshadow over the top and really give it a pretty smoky but uh, you know more attractive look honestly 
So, tell me your high, tell me your favorite Care Bear. If you don't like Care Bears, you and I are probably not friends. Just kidding, kind of. I mean, honestly though, could Care Bears be any better? So, tell me your favorite Care Bear. Tell me where you're coming from. So, I've already told you, Funshine Bear is my favorite. Though we are doing Friend Bear next time. I do love Rainbow Bear. I do love Grumpy Bear. I might do Grumpy Bear. I always say my husband's Grumpy Bear. Not because he's grumpy. He's really not. But sometimes he is. <laughs> sometimes. I also like Lucky Bear. I like them all. They're so wonderful. I couldn't really get into the cousins though. Did you like the cousins? Not really my thing. So Onyx smudged up that eyeliner as you can see and made that super pretty. And then... Um, did that on my lower lashes as well. If you want a foolproof eyeliner, go to a powder. And I'm going to do a demo this week on I um, one of those, you know, my news feed. I'm sure it looks like your news feed. And Victoria Beckham's eyeliner popped up into it. And I've heard things about her eyeliner because it comes in all these really, really beautiful colors. And I am here for it. Like, I love that kind of color around your eye area but her eyeliner is sold out most of the time and it's $38 $38 for an eyeliner let me say that again $38 for an eyeliner that's crazy kooky talk so what I'm gonna show you how to do is get that same eyeliner look um, with a an $8 product so stay tuned for that now I already have my CC cream on which is going to be, you know, my moisturizer, my sunscreen, my foundation, and my concealer. But what I use it for, I like the glow factor that it gives me for sure. But I use it as a primer because it also has primer there. And I'm going to put my anti-aging matte foundation on the top. If you want a foundation that is a skin foundation, which is more based in skincare than a goopy cover-up would be, this is the foundation that you want. It's just beautiful. And it covers everything, but it still gives you kind of that airbrush, skin, beautiful quality to it. Okay, now I need my under eye corrector. Under eye corrector, just a peach concealer with light reflectors. And I'm going to brighten the inside of my eye and I'm going to pull up the outside of my eye and then I'm gonna blend so right here is the darkest part of those under eye circles on the side of your nose so make sure I see makeup demos all the time and they do it like right here and right here I'm like but you just miss the whole darkest part of the eye you've got to hit that inside down the middle of my nose a little bit as a highlight what I love about under eye corrector, if you mix it with your foundation on the back of your hand, it gives you a perfect highlighter and it does its job as a color corrector. I love products that I can do two for one. Okay, so I got my nude shimmer sort of jam on my eyes. I've got my foundation on. I've got my... Uh, concealer or under eye corrector on. Now I'm going to dust it with a light, light coat of our silky setting powder. And hi TikTok world, I have never been live on TikTok before so say hi to me. I stole my husband's iPad and um, so now I've got my phone on Instagram, I've got my computer, my laptop on Facebook and then I've got you guys, my iPad on TikTok. So you have to say hi to me and tell me how this works newbie over here to the the live world of TikTok. okay and now let's really have some fun with these cheeks We've got latte contour and the way that i like to do contour in the wind in the winter right underneath my cheekbones right when they start to downturn don't go too far it'll make you look older just a little bit right through there and then temples hairline hairline temples and that's all that we're gonna do. We're just gonna do that on the top half of your face. 
I like to do that during the winter. Then the summer, I'll do, I'll take it down around my jawline. But right now, it's going to make my foundation really odd. And I don't want to look like the girl who can't match her foundation. I'm also going to take it down the sides of my nose. Contour a little bit there. So fun. And then Shy Blush. Great peachy, pinky, goldy color with a little bit of shimmer. And I want that shimmer look because if we're doing Valentine's, we want this love, sexy vibe that's still fresh and young. Can you do all the things at once? Sure you can. And that just makes your skin look a little bit glowy as well. Okay, let's finish with some great lips. So what I'm doing on this look is I really want the lips to be the star of the show. It's not normally what I would do. Normally my eyes um, are my, what I like to focus on. But lips with this one, I think with Valentine's and Care Bears and all the things, let's make them really stand out. So I've got Berry Lip Liner. And what I'm gonna do, so I'm gonna tell you before I do it so I can talk, is I'm gonna really find the very outermost point of my lip line. I'm not gonna overdraw. That looks crazy and that's, we're just not doing that. But I am going to push the boundaries a little bit. I am not outside of my line. I'm just really darn close to it. color in a little bit gosh if you have you got your hands on these new waterproof lip liners I know not everybody has I'm telling you what that just went on like a butter so that's berry and then this is berry raspberry hydrating lipstick you know I love this especially during the summer because it feels like lip balm it's so moisturizing so, very raspberry. So I'm keeping my red just a little bit cool for me, but I also am gonna put um, my red lip gloss on top of it. And actually, I don't even know the name. Isn't that funny? Like, and of course, not on my glasses. Let's just talk about that. Rockin' Red? No, that's my old one. I'm gonna think about it here in a second. It's red. So I kind of have this berry lipstick and lip liner underneath, giving myself some, some cool berry tones with a really bold, dramatic statement. And then I top it off with that red, really bringing it all together. So that is your uh, Tender Heart Bear Valentine's look. Honestly, guys, this is a perfect look to go out for Valentine's Day, to um, just kind of glam up your normal look. Like, you could wear this daytime. I mean, you know, the lips are...